Uchio Saluchi wants VR46 to commit to Ducati long-term and hopes to sign before the MotoGP season starts. Valentino Rossi's MotoGP team are contracted with Ducati for this year but could go elsewhere afterwards and have been in talks with other manufacturers. Rossi's personal links with Yamaha and the Japanese brand's desire to run more than two bikes next year have made them a logical landing spot. But Rossi's right-hand man and the VR46 team boss Salucci wants to activate a clause in their current contract to stay put. We have, already, the option with Ducati for 2025 and 2026, Salucci said. Now, this moment, is very important. These 10 or 15 days, to try to understand what will happen in 25 and 26. My direction is to continue with Ducati. My dream is to sign the contract before Qatar because I want to stay quiet, I want to prepare this year very good. For that, we need to sign now with Ducati, because it is better. But, anyway, we'll see what will happen. The Qatar shakedown is on February 19th leaving VR46 three and a half weeks to meet Salucci's preferred deadline. The season begins in Qatar on March 8th. Previously, Salucci told GP1, I've spoken to everyone, I'm not ashamed to say it, with Ducati, with KTM, with Yamaha. KTM are also determined to run extra bikes in 2025 and have been vocal about taking over one of the existing satellite teams. But, Ducati may remain the place to be. This year, VR46 will again run Ural Desmoceticis. On the other hand, with Pedro Acosta just one of many riders potentially waiting in the wings, Jack Miller will have a lot of pressure to retain his factory MotoGP seat at KTM. Like most of the grid, Jack is set to be out of contract at the end of this season, so big performances will be needed. Most manufacturers will be looking to secure deals as early as possible which would give them the chance of securing the best talents, but for someone like Miller, that means more pressure to start the season in a good way. It's a kind of pressure that comes to everyone a little bit too soon, said Guidotti when speaking to MotoGP.com. We have to make decisions in the first part of the season and sometimes this is not the best for the riders and also for us that we have to make a decision after a few races. It's something that everyone would like to change but we can't because there are a lot of factors that we have to consider for the choice, not least we have to be ready right after the first race of the season to start the new season, so we have to be ready soon. Jack Miller was very strong at times in 2023, but with Brad Binder tied into a multi-year deal, it's his factory seat that is up for grabs in the immediate future. But Guidotti also highlighted the fact that Miller could use this pressure to his advantage and look elsewhere, if his performances are good enough to gather interest from other teams. It's not like years ago when we had a proper winter break, where we could deal with everything and be ready in February to go out again with the new bikes and new riders, added Guidotti. Everything happens very soon at the end of the season, so the decisions need to be made soon during the current season. This is a sort of pressure that, as I said, no one likes. But everyone who works in this environment, in this world, needs to get used to this daily pressure. It's part of our jobs. Jack, like almost all of the grid, is on the market. Also for him it can be an opportunity. It depends how the writer feels this pressure. I don't think he wants to look around, He's fully committed to staying with us, he likes being here so much, so I'd like to think that he feels the pressure to show everybody, to show himself, the potential. The six-time MotoGP champion has endured a torrid time with Honda in recent seasons, but Marquez is now being tipped for great things after a switch to Ducati. Marquez, who joined his brother Alex at Grazzini, has not only joined Ducati, but he's moved to one of the most prolific satellite teams of the last two years. Winners four times with Ania Bastianini in 2022, Alex Marquez then became a two-time sprint winner for the Italian team in 2023. And Espaleta is convinced Marc Marquez will be back fighting for major results with the Italian brand. Speaking to Europa Press, Espaleta said, Marc Marquez is one of the best riders in the history of motorcycling. Being able to have the possibility of him being back in the lead in fighting will be another incentive. Obviously, he is missed. I am absolutely sure that Mark will be competitive. Along with Marquez's move to Ducati, another big chance for 2024 is the concessions rule that will hugely benefit the likes of Honda and Yamaha. After failing to develop their bikes with the same speed and effectiveness, the two Japanese brands have been given more testing time, while they can also develop more than their competitors. The ones who will suffer the most are Ducati due to their stunning performance in 2023. 
KTM and Aprilia, although not as much as Honda and Yamaha, will also benefit from the new concession rules. And speaking about this, as Paletta added, the COVID-19 pandemic had a much stronger impact in Japan than in Europe. It had nothing to do with it. Japan stopped completely and work continued in Europe, and that has caused differences that have returned the concessions to allow them to make up for lost time. I am sure that, one, they will return and, two, that it is fair because Honda and Yamaha did the same in their day. When they won the world championship, they were generous enough to be able to give concessions that allowed the other brands, first Ducati, and then Suzuki, KTM and Aprilia, to be competitive again. Grazzini's target for Marc Marquez's first season is to be within the top five of the MotoGP championship, the team owner claims. Marquez's decision to ditch his Belopar Honda and jump onto the bike which won, and finished second, in last year's championship has whet the appetite for a thrilling season. Ducati riders have already tipped the eight-time world champion to fight for a ninth, which would tie Valentino Rossi's total, but the ambition from within his new box is more humble, or, perhaps, more strategically managed. With Mark the expectations are high, but we don't set ourselves the goal of winning the world championship, Nadia Padovani told Sky. We want to be at least among the top five in the rankings, yes. It's more the desire to start than the pressure, absolutely. Because we can't wait to get on track with these riders and see where we can get this year. She reiterated her delight to have recruited Marquez, it's a fantastic year. We've already won because we are an independent team that has brought in an eight-time world champion. We have ten world titles in the team. This is crazy, we never imagined we could achieve something so important in our career. Team manager Michelle Massini added. Never before will we have all the ingredients to do very well as in 2024. But it's clear that everything remains to be written and I don't want to place any objectives, but only to think about progress and improve. The Marquez brothers will share a box for the first time since the ill-fated early months of 2020. It was a dream within our dream, Massini said. There is an incredible energy. We have spent the last three days together and there is a nice atmosphere, with carefreeness and a unique desire. I think we can be proud of being able to live this moment together. Having Alex and Mark on the team is an added value. I think we have the best possible technical package available but we still believe that the human part is fundamental. Who knows each other better than two brothers? I mean it will make things easier for us on the sporting side, but it will help us get to know them quicker. Padovani added, we are the only team with 10 world titles inside the garage. It has never happened, it happened to us and this gives us a great boost. Mark is a very nice guy, he always has a joke ready. I know Alex and I know how he is. He is brilliant and friendly. We got on very well with both of them. 